our dear learners, especially senior ones, Trinity College in Abingo. This is a teacher for history and political education, Don Paul Apalokwang. I hope you are safe and you are doing well wherever you are. So today, uh, we are going to interact with you through the digital system of Trinity College Nabingo and basically to give you some information to keep you busy as part of the education progress as also required by the NCDC. Uh, earlier on we have talked about what history is and what is political education. The two are intertwined because when we talk of history we are trying to study the past events and we are compare with the present event to predict the future. While political education is the study of the science and arts of management of the society. So as the form ones, we are still in the first the first major theme that is understanding our past. It is very important that we know the origin where our ancestors come from. That's why we talk about understanding our past and the topics are chronological. That is, one topic leads to the other. For example, we started by looking at finding out our, our past by looking at the source of history, the historical sites the, in East Africa, we have tried to identify the importance of these historical sites, the advantages and disadvantages of various historical uh, sources of history, written records, scientific, among others. Then after that, we went on to look at the evolution, the origin of man, uh, how man came to existence using various theories, the traditional stories, the scientific theory, the biblical theory, or the religious suggestions about the origins of man. And then after that, we look at the evolution, the changes through which man went through up to the present. And we believe that in the future, we shall have different uh, the, the, the people who will live in the next generation, centuries, may not be the same with the people now because the evolution is still taking place according to scientists. Then we have looked at after this evolution, then we look at the different groups of people who migrated into East Africa. We call them the immigrants. We looked at the Bantu, we looked at the Luo, the River Lake Nilots, the Plain Nilots, the Highland Nilots. And after these people had settled, then the fourth topic, we looked at the culture. Different people who migrated into East Africa interacted. After intermingling interaction, they were able to come up with the various cultural practices. Uh, some of the cultural practices cut across East Africa and Africa as well. But there are some specific cultural practices that are identified with some specific societies. So, after looking at this culture, then we look at the state formation. How some states were formed, the centralized and decentralized states. Centralized states were states under kings that had one leader or a central authority. While the non-centralized, also we call them decentralized or segmentary or acephalous societies. They had no, no king, but at least they had different leaders who were either called chiefs 
given different titles depending on societies. Now, I believe that these are the major five topics under the, the theme of finding out, I mean, understanding our past that we want to engage you to try to revise and to guide you on how to revise the following activities. I expect you to, do, to read through these activities and try to use the available sources, the ICT, if you are very close to some friends, you can interact and, uh, and discuss and write information, the following activities. There are three activities. The first one, uh, read in the recent past, Many youth are moving out of Uganda to outside countries where they are facing many problems. So this one is derived from the, the topic of migration and settlement into East Africa. That after people had settled, this kind of migration is still even taking place these days where people move either due to push or pull factors. So in this case, there are people who always move from Uganda to different countries, to Asia, Europe, among others. But you find that they, where they moved, they are faced with several challenges. Now, as a political advisor, give reasons for this phenomenon, why these people are moving. Then secondly, Identify the likely challenges this youth may face. Identify the likely challenges that this youth may face in those areas they have migrated or they have gone out of the country. Then suggest the solutions to the above challenges. So when you are suggesting solutions, you should now act like a because we have told you as a political advisor, you may be invited to give a speech on how this challenge, the challenges, the problems that youth are facing in many countries that have migrated to. Then the second activity, it is taken from the origin and evolution of man the origin and evolution of man. Now, the activity is, the origin and evolution of man leaves a lot to be desired given the various theories with the shortcomings. Now the theories, these are some of the uh, suggested statements that tend to describe and provide uh, ideas about things that are very difficult to understand. For instance, when you talk of the evolution of man, changes man went through up to the present day, there are three major theories that are identified in an attempt to explain the origin and evolution of man. We have the scientific theory, we have the traditional theories, or traditional traditional stories, legends, that tend to describe how man came to existence. Then we also have the religious theory, which states that man was created by God. Well, in our societies, there are so many traditional stories. In Buganda, we have the story of Nambi and Chintu. Uh, these stories, they have some similarities with even the religious theory. Now, as a researcher, because as a student, we expected always to look for information. Information and learning is continuous. So as a researcher, what are the limitations of scientific theory about the origins of man? 
because there are people who are doubting the scientific theory. So give the limitation of this theory. Then the B part of it, how can the biblical theory, biblical that is a religious theory, provide the solutions to the above scientific theory? Then provide evidence to justify that the first man originated from East Africa. Because there are several suggestions that the first man originated from East Africa. So try to give evidence to prove this. Then possibly that D, which is not written here, try to find out from the elders some of the traditional stories about the origins of man. Then activity three, that is uh, East Africa is originally occupied by many immigrants with diverse cultural beliefs and practices. But the colonialists interfered with these settings, causing cultural dilemma. Now this is taken from the topic of culture. Culture, that is the way of life of a given society. Before the colonialists came to Africa, Africans had a well-organized social setting. The way of life, prayers, medicine, marriage, all kind of activities before the coming of the Europeans. But when Europeans came, they developed a belief that African culture was uncouth, backward, indigenous, and so they tried to introduce the Western culture. Now, as a student of history, analyze how the colonialists have interfered with the African culture, then suggest the ways through which African culture can be restored or can be revived. Then, what are the benefits of cultural sites? To Ugandans. So try to identify the different cultural sites, especially in Uganda, and then provide some information of how Ugandans are benefiting from these cultural sites. Uh, now, as we conclude these act three activities, we are taken from three topics under the major theme of finding out our past. Uh, try to work out, and for more information, please visit the link below. I remain Don Paula Palo Kwang, the history teacher, Trinity College Nabingo. I pray that you be safe, follow the SOPs, and Above all, pray to God that he may give wisdom to the leaders and especially the scientists to provide solution to this pandemic. God bless you and I wish you good luck.